Hello everybody, this is Dr. Kari here and I just finished doing our Let It Go meditation. It was so much fun. Um, thank you for those of you that showed up. I wanted to uh, make another video. I made a video you're going to see on this page that talks about if you're having, if you're enjoying this time of COVID and the importance of playing that role. But I also want to address the people who are struggling right now and quite truthfully, I've gone from enjoying it to struggling. And the struggling is equally as important. And why is it equally important? Because what this, this time of isolation is doing when we're taking away all of the ways in which we self-soothe and comfort is it's putting us on an edge and really giving um, the, uh, the environment, creating the environment for that outdated survival programming that I often talk to you guys about to um, come forth. And so like for me, I one day, I just, I was doing great, feeling great. And then I just got in a jag. I got triggered by something and, and you know, I got hooked. Like the, it can happen, we all do this. And suddenly my husband, everything, <laughs> poor husbands. Uh, it wasn't that, you know, I was questioning so many things, not about him. We have a fantastic relationship. I love him, but about the choices he makes in his life and how that affects me and blah, blah, blah. And I was on this whole role. And um, I finally said to him, you know what, let me take some time because <laughs> this is crazy. Instead of us having a lovely evening together, we were listening to me wah, wah, wah on. And I recognized that I was in a loop. So I went outside and got a pad of paper and I did a, an exercise that I do, which is I drew a circle and in the circle, I drew it like a pie chart and I separated out the different feelings that were there. And for me at that moment, there was a little bit of anger and a whole lot of feeling of being depressed. And I, so I said, okay, so what's this depression? And I started to dive in and I got curious about it and asked questions and asked questions and he ended up winding myself back to an age and a time that all my years of work, I have never accessed. It was when I was two years old and a feeling of um, being, uh, you know, I, I'm being very expressive and excited and wanting to do a lot and wanting to be and go and, you know, ah, I'm so excited. And, and my mom kind of not really having much of it. And that feeling of if I didn't keep myself small, then I was going to lose her. She wasn't going to be following me around like I, you know, so wanted her to do. And, um, and when I saw that, it opened up so much for me. And, and just in the recognition of it, it enabled me to like completely get out of this thing I was doing, directing towards my husband, um, where I was feeling like I had to make myself small to fit into the life that he wanted and the story I was running, which actually isn't true at all. So, so that I've been doing work for, I don't know how many years, but that came out of this time when I was unable to do anything else. I was unable to go out, go to a restaurant. I'm on a, I put, I had put myself on a cleanse. So I'd even taken out the, the comfort foods, right? So I didn't have the comfort foods to turn to. I didn't have shopping to turn to. All the things that I might use when I'm feeling a little off to self-soothe, I didn't have available to me put me on that edge, very uncomfortable edge, spent some hours really feeling, you know, down and depressed and not good, and then broke free. And it's already, the difference in my life is already evident. So this is what's available to us at this time. So if you're having a hard time, you're having physical symptoms, you're having um, emotional things, you're going in and out of feeling good and feeling bad, it's totally normal. But I encourage you when you're in those struggles, when you're in the, those moments where you feel like, you know, you're suffering, you can't get through it, you know, you're over it. Those are the times to really dive in and get curious about what What's really up for you and see if you can't get start asking questions of the feeling start you know looking within see how what age it feels like and see if you can't figure out um, where it came from and if you can't you know there's always NET right you can always um, you know we always can do some NET or we can do some other emotional work via Zoom uh, to help you identify uh, what is going on so I'm sending you so much love and I just want you to remember that we can come out of this even better than we, than we were when we went in. 
We can come out of it with more self-awareness, with more self-care, with more self, um, self uh, tolerance, with more self-acceptance, with more self-love. So even if you're one of those people that, you know, doesn't have a friend with you or doesn't have a mate with you and you're on your own, so this is a beautiful time to dive in and get to know yourself. And that means all of yourselves, the parts of you that are, you know, cranky and anxious and, and uh, feeling sad and the parts of you that are happy and joyful and feeling open and free, all of it. Yeah. So what, what really is called for, what those aspects of ourselves need is acceptance and love. When I was able to see that little two-year-old inside of myself that still was in there from a neurological perspective and love on her and be like, oh my gosh, of course, I get it. I get why you felt that way. And I accept and love you. I, I actually like want more of her in my life. I want to be more free and I want to, you know, be able to go out in the world and, and do all the things I want to do without fear that if I do, I'm going to lose those that I love. Yeah. So I'm going to, I'm, fully claiming her and um and i invite all of you to do the same and know i am always here to support you sending you all so 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 much love we only have you know i don't know what what are they talking maybe three weeks maybe four weeks more i know it feels like forever but like i said this is where it's getting juicy the first weeks we were all just like whoo calming down slowing down right and now this is where we can really start to see these parts for ourselves really start to get to know them and really learn to love and accept them. Sending you all so, so, so much love. And I am loving on those little ones for you too.